welcome to an exclusive chat with Mr. Vagis Chandi, Vice President, Marketing and Advertising Sales, Malayala Manorama. He is here with us to talk about the changing dynamics of print media in the Kerala market and Malayala Manorama's growth story. Welcome, Mr. Chandi. Thank you so much for joining us in the chat here today. So coming to the first question directly, you know, 2020 was a completely different kind of a year where print, like most other businesses, suffered huge losses. And, you know, fortunately for Kerala uh, print market, the market saw the quickest recovery. So help us understand how this happened and how Malayala Manorama managed to get not just the readers back, but also the advertisers back on board. Uh, thank you, Dasnai. Uh, I must also thank uh, Ex Exchange for Media for this opportunity to communicate to you about uh, Kerala and uh, the, how the various media are doing and uh, specifically Malayala Manorama. I would say in a way, Kerala was uh, better prepared to meet with the, this kind of pandemic. The reason being, if you look at the last two years, 2018, 2019, we had very devastating floods. And we also had uh, Nipah virus and uh, the state managed it quite well. So when, uh, you know, you, you will probably uh, remember that the, even uh, the COVID virus first was uh, detected in uh, Kerala. Imagine that uh, uh, we were able to identify it first because of our advanced, uh, you know, healthcare facilities. And uh, uh, coming to, again, to the COVID situation, uh, you know, uh, right from the beginning, uh, you know, the central government directives and uh, which was translated by the state government about uh, wearing of masks, uh, you know, using of sanitizers, social distancing, etc. were very, uh, very strictly adhered to by the population. With a result, if you look at, uh, you know, the zero prevalence study, which has been done uh, across the uh, country, you will find that uh, nationally, uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the population that was exposed or population that actually got the virus was, uh, was around 21%. And in Delhi, you would know that it was more than 50%. Uh, uh, but in Kerala, uh, it was only 10.7%. And the second part, uh, uh, how the newspapers managed, how the media managed, uh, you know, again, uh, our chief minister sent out communication to the entire population that newspaper never spreads the virus. Okay. Right. Even INS, Indian Newspaper Society, also brought out uh, a let, uh, brought out communication uh, uh, through various media and through ads that uh, uh, newspapers do not spread virus. That's and right. the other other thing is that if you look at our case, we have more than 15,000 uh, newspaper agents. During the pandemic, even micro containment areas were reached by the uh, newspapers. Right. Okay, because of this, this fantastic uh, network of uh, dealers uh, and agents that we are able to reach. And therefore, uh, the copies right from the beginning, we were saying that it never got affected. You know, when other states, uh, especially in the metros, uh, they were, you know, uh, it was affected to the extent of uh, more than 50%. In Kerala, it was never affected, the distribution. So the other question with, with, that you asked uh, about advertisers, how the, what was the recovery? All right, the recovery of advertisers again, it's a it's an easier part. If readers are uh, or if you are able to reach the population, the consumers, then the advertisers will follow. Okay, so that's exactly what uh, uh, happened. So you so you'll find that uh, you know the, the recovery was uh, much sooner than any other place uh, in the country as far as Kerala is uh, uh, concerned. Right. And also, you know, as it turns out, as we all know, that Kerala is a, a consumer state. 
right? So what is your message to brands that are looking at Kerala? Yeah, you're right. Kerala is a consuming state. Right. Okay, uh, it has got a history because you will find that one of the most dispersed population is in Kerala. I mean, it is said that after the Jews, Malayalis are the ones who are the most dispersed. You, you know, you go to any part of the world, you will find uh, Malayalis. So the NRIs, uh, you know, uh, uh, outside Kerala, the NRKs, the and also the uh, the ones from uh, in Gulf and Europe and the US. So what they also bring back is a rich consumer culture into the state and exposure to the brands. The other thing is that if you look at uh, the uh, NCCAB, the yes. higher end of the uh, consumer classification, uh, in Kerala, 68% of the population fall into that category. Whereas, uh, uh, you know, if you look at uh, the rest of the uh, uh, country or the national average is only 39%. Why, if you look at any product category, you will find that the penetration of the products are very high. For instance, uh, the highest per capita of uh, automobiles or four wheelers, you will find in Kerala. You know, of close to 20% of the population have uh, 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 four wheelers and about 60% have, uh, 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 you know, two wheelers. If you come to refrigerators, it will be 85%. Television, it, uh, television will be 85%, refrigerator will be around 72%. So if you look at the national averages, it would be less than half of this. Kerala is a consuming state and uh, is a mature consumer state. Any mature consumer state, people have to spend more because the proliferation of brands are very high and therefore you need to, uh, you need to fight for uh, you know, success and to increase your market share. Right, absolutely. You know, so picking up from all the interesting data that you just gave us, you know, Kerala in many ways has always been known for setting trends nationally. And interestingly for print as well, Kerala boasts of the highest reach across any medium, more than CNS homes and the internet. So what is your take on it, Mr. Chandi? See, it is a traditionally literate state. You know, when you say Kerala is the the uh, highest literate state in the country, uh, you know, it didn't happen yesterday. Again, you know, it has been traditionally literate. And secondly, the print medium has been extremely strong because of the literacy. And you know, Malayalam Manorama is has got a legacy of more than 130 years. Okay. So, uh, uh, so the, 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 the literacy is being very high, the print uh, being a very credible medium, you know, any research you will find across, you will find that print has been the most credible uh, medium. So that's the reason why perhaps one of the few states uh, where print is more than television or CNS uh, in terms of reach, because it's 87% of the uh, population uh, can be reached to print uh, against television, which is around uh, 81 percent, and uh, right. inter internet is around uh, 56 uh, percent. Right. Uh, so uh, print is definitely, definitely, uh, you know, much higher uh, reach than any other uh, uh, medium. So I, I told you the reason we have established a fantastic distribution ne network. And typically, newspaper is distributed, uh, delivered between five and six in Kerala. And it is the primary source of information for a large uh, uh, part of uh, the large uh, part of the population of uh, Kerala, especially during a pandemic where a lot of fake news comes out. Uh, people actually uh, depended on print to get their uh, share of the uh, right news. And, uh, you know, we also have uh, TV and uh, uh, internet, etc. Uh, with us. And uh, of course, you know that the legacy uh, media 
uh, 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 brands of television or whether it is uh, uh, digital also uh, you know have the e equally good credibility attached to that now uh, because of all these media we are able to uh, go into the in depth uh, analysis of uh, of what is going on uh, in the state and be able to uh, put across to the population on the next day morning uh, in a fantastic uh, right. uh, uh, manner. Yeah. Interestingly, Malayalam dailies are read by close to 82% of the population in the state compared to the 5% reach of English dailies. Second question uh, here is that, you know, at Malayala Manorama, how do you keep your readers engaged? Uh, you know, why, why do you think that English newspapers are less preferred in Kerala or virtually a non-entity in Kerala. You know, uh, is, it is 82% of the print uh, versus 5% of uh, English. The reason being, I also said about 130 years of legacy and it has been, uh, you know, because of the professional management and the professional way in which we have run the newspaper business. So if you look at our editorial network across the country and, uh, 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 you know, uh, and the world, you will find that uh, we have some of the best uh, uh, editors uh, working with us and, uh, the, uh, uh, you know, uh, giving information to the people. Okay, so if you, if you take a Malayalam newspaper and if you take an English newspaper, uh, side by side, you will hardly find any difference in uh, uh, in the in the international news or in the national news. Of course, the difference we, you will find in the hyper local news, which uh, Malayalam newspapers and specifically Malayalam Manorama does. You know, we have uh, 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 more than about hundred local editions, and uh, the kind of uh, new news that you get. Uh, through these local editions, no other medium is in a position to uh, to give. So I also said about this: a uh, five percent uh, is the only uh, you know population that reach, uh, reads English newspapers, yes. and they also uh, read a Malayalam newspaper, which actually means uh, you know the incremental reach an English newspaper uh, you know gives. To an advertiser is virtually zero. So, uh, so how do we keep engaged the our reader, readership? Uh, editorial content is keeping with the times and changing interest all the time. The uh, you know so uh, uh, so so that is uh, one other thing. And uh, you know we also do a lot of research. Uh, uh, among our readership uh, readers to find out uh, their preferences and their changing behaviors and then uh, you know change i mean our newspaper keeps on changing mm -hmm. to to reach uh, or to cater to the requirement of the, the readers so that is how we keep our readers uh, engaged wow great uh, so you know also Kerala has many shopping seasons. You have Vishu, you have Eid, Onam, Christmas, etc. But as we understand, a lot has uh, changed in the market behavior since the floods two years back. So if you can tell us a little bit about, you know, and help us understand about the changing trends. So traditionally, uh, uh, you know, Onam has been the most uh, sought after period. Uh, and in this autumn window is actually falls between Chingam first, which normally uh, is on uh, August 17th, and the autumn day. And autumn day could be any time between 25th of August, and uh, it could be uh, uh, sometime in September. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. This window is the most, uh, uh, you know, appropriate time for the advertisers and appropriate time for the marketeers to sell the products. So right. that's called the autumn window. Okay. So the longer the window, uh, you know, uh, uh, the more uh, work you have to do, the lesser the window, 
even more work you have to do because it uh, the sale has to happen within that uh, period right. this this year actually it, will, it falls on 25th of august mm -hmm. so there is only eight days between uh, in i mean by, uh, that on a window mm -hmm. now there used to be a time when 50 to 60 percent of the consumer durable sales happened during that window okay now these floods happened during the autumn period okay uh, 2018 and 19 the the floods happened and i think uh, that actually gave a, a reminder to the marketeers that do not put all eggs in one basket you need to spread your market uh, across the periods okay Absolutely. and uh, in india uh, you know always the market is associated with uh, festivals right. and having said that uh, i will also say that uh, uh, you know what are the changes what are the trends that you asked for i mean you also see that uh, uh, you know large uh, supermarket chains are opening up in kerala Yes. You, uh, you would have visited Lulu uh, yes. in Cochin, which is uh, supposedly the largest mall oh, in, yeah. uh, in Kerala. Mm -hmm. And uh, Lulu is opening across the uh, uh, state in Calicut, in Trivandrum, and Trichur, uh, Natiga, they already opened up. Right, right. And uh, they are opening up across the state. It's a large supermarket. So a similar supermarket chains are opening up across the state. And also, you will also find uh, large uh, electronic supermarkets are opening up. Wow. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, you, you would have heard of Maiji, Oxygen, Nantileth, Bismi. You, you know, all, all of them, uh, you know, are having multiple uh, outlets and these outlets are large. You know, they are now seeking more and more larger outlets, 12,000 square feet, 15,000 square feet, uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, outlets they are uh, looking at. I am talking about you know there are 14 districts in Kerala. Ideally, they would uh, you know uh, be present in all those 14 districts sooner or later, mm -hmm. which actually shows that uh, many things. Uh, one, we started with the consumer state. The second thing uh, we talked about uh, uh, the new trends. And the third thing I would say is the recovery from the COVID situation yes, is yes. right here. The, you know, the greatest example that recovery has happened or happening mm -hmm. is uh, uh, when the retail is live. Okay, so what you see is uh, the retail is quite uh, live out there. And you would also know that uh, these are the brick, uh, brick and mortar shops that compete with uh, the Amazons and the Flipkarts of the world. Uh, but still, people, uh, these the shops are, uh, they are doing exceedingly well. And to yeah. talk about uh, a newspaper, you know, uh, how newspaper fits in there is that when they, uh, they, when they have a special sale, just as Amazon puts up a, a jacket, takes a jacket, or if a flip card takes a jacket, mm -hmm. these retail uh, kings in Kerala are survive on the jackets in Malayalam and Orma and uh, other newspapers. That's right, you know. So, uh, you know, um, coming to uh, trends, since we spoke so much about trends, you know, Malayala Manorama has been inspiring newspapers and also other brands, uh, you know, how to popularize the essence of local and also in the process, make the offering profitable. So, you know, if you could tell us a little bit about uh, your growth story and how do you plan to keep it going? And lastly, about 2021, your big plans for the year and how do you plan to make it bigger and better yeah um well i, I told you uh, the first part of the story uh, you know uh, uh, about our professional editorial network and yeah. also the research that we keep doing to That's understand right. the needs and the requirements of the population and uh, if you notice uh, you know the the biggest growth for malala manorama has come in the last 10 years Okay, and that is when we had to survive with, uh, uh, you know, uh, or coexist uh, with the digital and the uh, television. Okay, right. so so when the newspaper story 
uh, across the uh, world are not very encouraging. I would say that Kerala's story is very positive, very encouraging, and uh, uh, I, I, I would say that uh, it would continue to grow uh, for many years to come. Okay, that's, right. that's, that's because of the investment that we are doing to take care of the needs of the, uh, uh, the readers. We also do a lot of uh, exercise with uh, the school students and we have uh, pages, uh, you know, uh, basically we have uh, pages uh, uh, for the students, okay, which they look forward to. So, mm -hmm. so we, all, we, are, we are also hoping that the readership service would throw light on uh, these exercises that uh, even the younger uh, population are not actually going away from uh, the newspapers. So, so that is uh, 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 the, uh, the, that is what uh, we do to engage uh, the readers and ensure that there is a steady growth and a continuous growth. And 2021 is definitely a year of hope. Definitely a year of hope. There is no doubt at all, because uh, we are talking about uh, uh, okay, 1920 was a uh, sorry, 2021 was uh, uh, an year. Uh, where uh, everybody lost. Okay, so uh, we are only then talking about recovery. You know, um, there were many kinds of V-shaped recovery, U-shaped recovery. Yesterday, somebody was talking about K-shaped recovery and uh, all of that. Okay, so so uh, uh, so I, I would say that we have, uh, you know, if you come to March of 2021. We have almost reached the recovery stage, which means that we have almost reached uh, closer to 1920 uh, figures. Okay, so we can only go up from here because we have hit the rock bottom and only we can go up from here and uh, definitely 2020, uh, uh, 21, 22 is a year of hope. And I also gave you the stories about how the retail is uh, spreading uh, the wings in uh, Kerala. So obviously uh, this will help. And see, you also find that uh, a whole lot of uh, 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 people have returned from Gulf uh, and they also are looking for, uh, for houses and, uh, you know, uh, to settle down and look for uh, some work, etc. So, so all that will actually kickstart the economy and uh, I think the, the retail will benefit and retail is a barometer for uh, the, the growth in uh, the, uh, the, the business and the economy, yeah. Right, right, that was so much of data, so much of relevant information, so much to know from, learn from. Uh, so to sum it up, Mr. Chandy, anything uh, that you would want to share with uh, your readers or our viewers here? Any message to the readers, any message to our viewers, anything that you would want to add to sum it up? Uh, well, uh, I would say that, I mean, your readers are also, uh, you know, my advertisers and uh, the media planners and uh, all of them. I would only tell them to not to club Kerala with the rest of the country, mm -hmm. you know, or, uh, you know, what you see in uh, the rest of the country and uh, do not come to conclusions. Uh, you know, and uh, do not say that, uh, you know, this is what we do in Delhi, therefore we'll, uh, you know, re replicate the same in Kerala. That doesn't work. Right. You've got to actually look at uh, each market and look at its strengths, its nuances, and that is why you are the media planner. Okay. And therefore, uh, you know, advise the advertisers and uh, uh, that Kerala is different. And to the advertiser friends, I'm telling uh, 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 you know, my, my advice is, uh, you know, as the same, look at Kerala uh, differently. I keep hearing uh, that uh, you fall uh, in terms of priority very low. I, I would always say that, you know, you look at your market share in the place and see how you can improve your market share in that state. That should be the, uh, the, uh, the priority. And if uh, you know, other states had a problem with the newspaper distribution uh, during the pandemic. Please do not, uh, you know, uh, say that uh, Kerala also have fallen into that. Uh, so, 
my request is, I mean, not an, even an advice, my request is look Kerala differently for its strengths and for its nuances, and uh, you will only benefit out of it. Great, great. Thank you so much, Mr. Chandy, for joining us in this chat. It was great you. having you here in this session. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you very much.